Welcome to another episode of the Grim Ripper. My name is Jason and I am the Grim Ripper. I'd like to just welcome you to this video. Tonight we're just going to be opening up the last few packs of 2019 Tops Update that I have in my stack over here. And uh, we'll probably have some kind of some kind of giveaway or I'll use these as a giveaway going on into the future. Uh, tonight's just because I want to open some packs, I guess. <laughs> And after we get done opening these packs, I have a special treat at the end of the video. So please stick around for the last thing that we're opening tonight. If you like this video, please go ahead and hit the thumbs up button. And leave a comment also. And if you've not subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe and the notification bell so that you can catch all of our future videos as well. All right, here we go. Let's tear into one of these jumbo packs here, or fat packs as we like to call them. And of course, we're looking for the Guerreros and the Tatis Juniors and any of the cool inserts that might come from these. And let's see if we can get some, some of those fun rookies tonight. All right. Security pack. Here we go. First stack. We've got Mitch Keller, Junior Guerrera, Tommy Edmond, Avisel Garcia. Got uh, the divisional foes there, Chris Paddock. There's the Vladimir Guerrero. Nice. So we got one Vladdy so far, and that's just his regular rookie card. Brandon Brennan, Jose Iglesias. Got a couple of uh, dual cards there. Mike Soroka. Some Diamondbacks. Griffin Canning. Parallel Poise. I, I like this card, actually. That's a fun card. <laughs> and we've got Will Smith. One of our inserts here. Chad Bettis in Greatest Moments. A gold Michael Pineda. Bryce Harper. Perennial All-Stars, Alex Rodriguez. The Family Business with Jose Canseco. Mike Schauren. Carter Kaboom, that's a good one. His rookies go for a little bit in PSA 10 condition. Jose Suarez. JT Realmuto. JD Hammer. JD Martinez. Joe Biagini. Charlie Morton. Blake Parker. Gio Ursula, Cattell Marte, Cody Bellinger, ah, cool, Pete Alonso rookie, that's a good one to get as well. And lastly, Matt Festa. Take a look at the back of these cards real quick, because some of them get numbered and I for, don't even pull them out because I don't think they're anything for some reason. All right. Oh, that's a family business is a numbered card. We've got uh, number 38 out of 299 on that Canseco card. Alex Rodriguez. This is our gold card, number 1319 out of 2019. And I think that might be it out of this pack for the numbered cards. Okay. Pack number two. Bear, keep in mind that uh, our one of our next gig giveaways that's going on is my uh, series called My Doubles Become Your Drawing. We've only done one episode of that so far. Uh, I'll be doing another one of those this week. And I think what I'll do is do three or four episodes and then do the drawing. And anybody who comments on any of who comments on those uh, videos will be in for the drawing. So it should be a pretty good stack of cards that end up being my doubles that you get to draw, be in the drawing for. Right now we're doing the 2020 Tops Series 1 set. But as time goes on, there will be other sets that I'm personally working on, and we'll be doing the my doubles become your drawing with uh, those sets as well. All right, right off the top of this pack, we've got the Keston Hura. That's a good card to get. We've got Joe Kelly, Mitch Keller, 
Junior Guerrera again. Tony Edmond. Oh, this looks like a repeat from this point. Avisail Garcia, Divisional Foes, Chris Paddock. Another Guerrero uh, Jr. So that's a nice thing to get a double on anyway. Brandon Brennan, Luis Castillo. Yeah, this is a near copy of that last pack for the most part. Let's see what the inserts are. This one is the Mustakas 150, 150 Years card. We've got the Chipper Jones, number one draft pick from the uh, old top set. That's a cool card. More Bryce Harper's Welcome to Philly. Perennial All-Star in this one is Clayton Kershaw. We've got Naylor, Carter Kaboom again, since this is a repeat of that last pack for the most part. The last few cards, I don't know what they're going to be, probably... Yep, there's Urshela, Marte, Bellinger, Pete Alonso. Good one to get a double of. Matt Festa was the last card in that previous pack. So now we have Dylan Moore, Austin Riley, or Austin Riley, I think that's a good one. And Jordan Lyles. That wasn't a bad pack. We ended up with uh, doubles of some, some of the good rookies. Flip through the back of these, make sure I don't forget some numbered ones here. All right, looking good. Jump into our third pack now. Again, if you enjoy these videos, please hit that thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the notification bell as well so that you can get involved in the Grim Ripper community. And uh, we're going to be doing some pretty cool giveaways and some pretty neat card chases and lots of things like that. Oh, too bad. This pack, it looks like whoever put this pack in the box at the Walmart beat the corners up on it. So none of these cards are going to be PSA 10 at all in this pack. So let's see who took the damage here. Adam Warren there. Oh, our... Keston Hura took a dinged corner, probably. Let's see. Yep, there it is. Completely flattened corner. That's too bad. Robbie Grossman, Nick Senzel. He's got a bashed-in corner. Uh, let's see who else we have in here. The Jock Pedersen, 150 years. Nice dinged corner. Carter Keyboom, did he get a ding? Yep, flattened off corner right down there. Vladimir Guerrero Sr., Pete Alonzo. This was a bad pack to take a hit like that. Gleyber Torres, oh, that's too bad. Hmm. <laughs> the, the Acuna Jr., oh boy. All the good stuff in that pack that just took a hit. Acuna, dinged up corner. Glaber Torres, dinged up corner. Pete Alonzo, dinged up corner. Carter Kaboom. Mmm, that is sad. And Senzel, Keston Hura. Mmm, to set these aside, these are all not PSA 10 worthy at all. We lost a few, about seven good cards from that pack. All of those cards right there, dinged up. All right, into our last pack of the 2019 update that I have in my possession. And this one... one looks like it's okay. Irvin Cole, Luke Weaver, Will Smith is a good one to get. His go for a pretty good... Oh, there we go. Aloy Jimenez. That's a nice one to get. Tyler Ost, Kevin Biggio. His is a good one to get. Craig Kimbrough, Merrill Kelly, Scott Ober, Carlos Santana... Alcantara. Here come our, some of our inserts here. If that Alcantara was any kind of insert. 
Nope. Okay. So we've got our Greatest Seasons, Warren Spawn. Got the Gold, Louis Sessa. That one's numbered 1021 out of 2019. Welcome to Philly, Bryce. We've got the Stan Musial. Dwight Smith Jr., Brandon Kinsler, Austin Allen, Justin Bohr, Matthew Beatty, Kyle Baraclough, Jonathan Shoup, Jorge Polanco, Josh Bell, Jan Gomes, Aroldis Chapman, Tyro Estrada, Paul DeYoung, Sonny Gray, and then a record breaker. All right, that's the last of those packs, the 2019 update. We got some pretty good cards out of there. I'll get these sleeved up, and I think I'll be sending a stack of this update stuff to PSA here in the near future. I'm trying to get about 100 cards to send over there and get a pretty good uh, feel for what, what kind of, what, how their grading is these days, basically. All right, now... I promised something special at the end of this video. This is a product I've never opened before, and it was kind of an expensive product, actually. But hopefully we pull something really good out of here. This is the 2019 one-time 1950s baseball edition. And what you get in these is one graded card. It could be PSA, it could be Beckett graded, it, you know, it could be any any company basically. But it's guaranteed to be a card from the 1950s, an original card from the 1950s. And you know the box the box seems to indicate that it's either a star from the 50s or one of the rookies from the 50s. So in here is going to be a card from 1950 up to 1959. So I'm pretty excited about this little package. Let's dive right in and see what rare find we have here. And of course, I left my knife out in the garage today. So we'll, ah, this one's pretty easy to open. All right, perfect. All right, I love the vintage stuff and you, don't get much more vintage than something from the 1950s. So here we go. Open this up. And inside we see that there's a single black package here. It looks like it is a Ziploc. So that's nice. Don't have to tear it. It's a nice little Ziploc. All right. Let's see what we've got here. Okay, this one looks like it's going to be one that's in graded in fairly poor condition. I can see the rounded corners on it. But let's see who we have here. Here's our reveal. We have a Harmon Killebrew, 1955 Harmon Killebrew, graded as a PSA 2 good condition. 1955 Harmon Killebrew. He was playing for the Washington Nationals at that time. Let's take a look at the back of this card. So 1952. I'm not sure when his rookie was. But that's pretty cool. Looks like he signed for the Nationals in 1954. Pretty nice card. 1955 Harmon Killebrew. Well, there you go. That's uh, that product that I've never opened before. I don't know if I got a good deal on it or not. I'll have to see what this thing goes for. And uh, I may or may not have gotten my money's worth on that. I'll just have to check it out. Thanks for dropping in today, spending some time with the Grim Ripper. Be sure to... <clears throat> to subscribe to the channel, hit that like button and that notification bell, and come visit with us again here on the Grim Ripper. Have a great evening, guys. See you next time.